Hey, someone once asked me, could they have a post carousel? And it always shows their latest, I don't know, four or five uh, posts, basically. And there's loads of widgets out there that you could use. But what if you wanted to do it just within what you get with an Elementor? This is so simple to do. And the tools to do it are right here for you. We have a section, okay, which has got nothing in here at the moment. And I think you know what tool I'm going to be using. It's the testimonial carousel. Let's just get rid of everything in here. Let's just get rid of the image, let's get rid of the text, get rid of the name, and get rid of the title. Now, if you drop in a post widget, say into a template and then drop the short code in, that isn't gonna solve your problem because you only wanna show the latest four or five posts. So what we're gonna do is create five templates and offset them. And no matter how many posts you have in your website, it will always bring through the latest post. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Let's go over to templates over here. Let's create a new one. I'm just gonna call this a section, okay? And I'm gonna call it post one, like that. And let's just create the template. Now, I don't care about anything it gives me. I'm just gonna create one totally from scratch, okay? Let's just close that down and into here, I'm now gonna go for the posts widget here. You could use something else if you want. You could do like an image or something like that as well, but we're just gonna go for posts and drop it in. Now, when I do that, I get all of these posts come through, but I only want the latest one, two, three, and four, and five to come through. So what I'm gonna do over here, I'm just gonna change this. Okay, I'm gonna leave the skin as classic. Um, I probably will get rid of the excerpt, to be honest, like that, okay? remember you will chop and change this to make this work for you, okay? I go down to query, and at the moment down here, it says post, which is exactly what I want. I want it to be in descending date order. This is important if you wanna have it, you know, your latest post showing. So the first thing I'm gonna do is just change this to be one post. Now it automatically gives us the very first post. So in a way, our job is actually done at this point for the very first post. So I'm just gonna click publish for now. This is, this is how simple it is at the moment. Let me just go back over to my templates, okay? Let me just go over here to save templates and you should see post one. I'm now gonna duplicate this. There are many ways you could do this. You could have just have copied that section and create a brand new template. I'm just gonna duplicate for now, like that. And I'm just gonna quickly quick edit this and make this a two. I'm using the duplicate page plugin just there to duplicate, by the way, but you could have, just create a completely new template, call it post two, copy and paste the structure, okay? Because what we're gonna do in this one, if I now edit with Elemental here, is now we're gonna set this one, which you will notice has still got the very first post, to now only show the second post. So if I go down here to where you have query, okay? So we're not in layout, we're in the query bit now for the post, right? For include, when you click that, you only get term and author, author. And this is where people get a bit stuck. What we actually wanna do is exclude the first one. So you click exclude. And what you will get is the option for current post and manual selection, term and author. We'll go for manual selection. And now down here, it says offset. I'm gonna just click avoid duplicates as well. That's not a bad thing to do. I'm now gonna type in one. This is gonna skip past one. That is now post two. Did you see that? It's done, but it's now post two. Let's just hit publish, okay? Now I'm not gonna do this for all five, by the way. I'm only gonna do it for the first three. So you get the idea. Let's now just close this down, go back over to our templates, and let me just refresh the page. So you wanna make sure it's got post two properly. Let's duplicate this. Again, remember, you could use a plugin to duplicate, or you could just copy and paste the section over with a brand new template. Let's just change this to be post three, update that. Let us now edit this. And I think you know where we're going with this because now we will have post number two. But you go into it, go down to query, and this time when we go to the exclude, rather than stopping at skipping one, I'm gonna say two. This will now skip post one and two, and it goes to three. So if you wanna show post four, you put in number three. If you wanna show in post five, you put in number four. Does that make sense? You always put in a number below what you wanna show. Let's now publish that. So we go back over to our homepage. We have at the minute got a testimonial carousel. 
Let me go here and I'm now going to pick up the short code for post one. I mean, I could just drop in a post widget, I suppose, and but that's what we did. So why am I saying that? Anyway, in the content, we put in uh, template one. Now, at the moment, nothing is showing. Sometimes you've got to refresh your page, go to preview or update or whatever before it pulls it through. I'm just going to duplicate for a moment uh, items two and three. Let's just go in and uh, get the codes now for uh, post two. Let's actually just close down post three as well. There we go. Let's just put the second one in and then get the short code for post three. So we copy that, go back over here and we go for post three and we just drop the short code in there. So now what we've got is the short code for uh, one, two, and three. I'm, I, I am going to go down here though and set the alignment to just be, uh, we'll just set it for two for now, okay? You, you might have had three and you might have loaded in five templates, for instance, and we're going to say one slide to show like that. And just for simplicity, I'm going to set this up to be um, two seconds, so it's pretty, pretty quick, so you can see the movement there. There is one thing I forgot to mention, I better tell you now. So when I was doing the posts, make sure the column here is set to one. Because you can see here, because it defaults to three originally, there's a big space over there. So make sure it is a column one and there's one page per post, okay? And remember, you can stylize these to look exactly how you want, okay? But that's not what we're focusing on here. So make sure you set the content to be one column and one post per page. And then what you do is you get a carousel that's going to change every two... I mean, I'm just... I'm hovering over it, so it's not going to change right. But look, first, second, third, and then eventually it'll go back to the first as well. So imagine you, you're showing... I'm only showing two at the moment on here, okay? But imagine that you have got, say, um, five posts and you're showing three at a time and it moves one at a time, okay? This is going to work for you in terms of a post carousel. And all we did was just kind of set up some templates. And if you remember, inside the templates, we went to the query, okay, on the first tab, content. We went down to query, and you make sure you avoid duplicate, and we set the offset. So the very first one, you could have a zero because you're not skipping any. For the second post, you skip one. For the third post, you skip two. Uh, it's a really simple way of how to do a post carousel. Basically, I hope you like, subscribe, share, and follow. And I'll see you soon. Never break, always fight, never quit, do it right, play the game, win it life, have no shame, there's no time, feel the pain, let the grind, I could change, in my mind, pick a lane, commit and climb, the only way to win it life. I never miss that fact, taking big swings, bitch, hand me the bat, put me in the ring.